Well, hello. And what do we have here? I guess I ended up changing my mind. Uh... For some reason, I took some time to think, and I, I thought about what I wanted to do next, and I got, I got YouTube streaming uh, working on that, but I decided to, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it'll just go right on to the next game that I was, has been on my mind. Uh, so here we are with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. We also have Hacker's Memory, but we are going to start with Cyber Sleuth. Um, and we're going to see how, th how that works out. Uh, it's a pretty loud game. Quite loud. We may just have to turn this down a lot more for now. So this is a little uh, kind of pre-game area where you can pick which of the two games you want to go with. Um, it's kind of nice. And we're just going to go with the defaults here, and I'm sure at some point we will be switching the battle cutscene to short. But let's, uh, you know, I some so I should probably give a little bit of preamble. I did start playing this game on the PS4, and I could not deal with... I was... At this point, I had a, P, a good PC, and I was starting to realize just how much time I was spending dealing with, like, load times and things like that on the PS4. And, uh, maybe I just got a little bit burnt out, uh, on all that stuff, so I put it down. But now that I'm on a roll with, uh, Digimon content, I think there's less of a chance that I will put it down. Although we did just complete a, a, a Digimon RPG, Digimon World 3, that was a bit of a slog, Gotta be honest about that. Uh, but, you know, this is a newer game, so... Maybe it'll be just a little bit more entertaining. And, uh, this game came out... Should probably give a little background around a game when I start out. So Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth... Came out... In, uh... It's, you know, it's not as old as Digimon World 1. It's a PS4 game. came out March 12, 2015. By, uh... Media.Vision, I guess, is the developer. Published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Oh. <laughs> uh... Clicking on the game window. Did that... And, uh, it's a, it's a Digimon RPG, so I don't think I really have anything else to say other than surprise, we're playing, we're playing more Digimon, um, so let's get started.
And so the chatting continued. Aquino and Blue Box went on with their late night gab fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside to their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before. And then the appointed time drew near. I always like to play with the defaults when they give a choice of a name, so we'll go ahead with that. ようこそ電脳空間の楽園エデンへエデンはメタバースにおいて革新的なサービスの数々を提供する新世代型デジタルコンテンツですショッピングから映画などの各種エンターテインメント企業間の商取引から行政機関の手続きまで皆様のニーズにお応えし皆様の生活の一部となるサービスを本日も心を込めてご案内させていただきます従来のネット画面上でのやり取りではなくアバターを介しての直感的なバーチャルリアリティ体験と最先端の電脳空間サービスを心ゆくまでお楽しみくださいエデンは世界をつなぎ未来を紡ぐヒューマンネットワーク上白エンタープライズが運営しておりますThe entrance to Eden. This is where we promised to meet. I'm here a little earlier than we had agreed on. I'm guessing Akino and Blue Box still aren't here. This will be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like though, but I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. Cheerful Takumi. The first thing I notice is I cannot change the uh, camera pan. Or can I? No, it doesn't seem that I can. I can pull in and out. I can't go left and right. 
Wow, this game is so loud. So I always have the question, as I did with Digimon World 3, how are we here? Is it full dive VR? Or is it like Digimon World 3 where we're basically like sucked into the digital world and our body is, is does not exist outside? Which has certain implications, philosophical implications, but I guess we don't know. I'm logged in from abroad. It's all thanks to Eden that I can keep up with my bodies. Hey, you know what? I think our first order of business is getting the audio levels dialed in. Wow, do you see that? And it's not just my setup. My, my headphones are turned to a good volume. It's more, uh... The game is just really loud. Here we go. That's uh, a little bit more manageable. Can hear myself think. My concern is if I have to raise the audio levels in editing and I've turned it down too much, then we start to lose some of the, the quieter stuff. So we'll just have to see how this plays out. Let's talk to some people. Oh, that, that round thing with the arrow is the access point. You can use it to travel around Eden. Huh? What? Wow, thank you. I've heard there's an area in Eden filled with hackers. Why wouldn't the company shut such a dangerous area down at once? Creepy hacker could possibly be related to the hacking mischief that we witnessed. Digivices log into Eden and the voice features are handy. Still, maybe my daughter's too young for one. I'm worried about security. I got a cell phone Digivice for my birthday. Yours are those goggles? They're pretty sweet. Next time I'll pick some up. Well, if a VR chat is any indication, maybe she should not be here without parent parental supervision. This entrance is one of the largest in all of Eden. There's even a pavilion further in. Have you heard of pavilions? Pavilions are places where companies can safely and securely do business over Eden. Unfortunately, they aren't open to the public. Thank you, wonderful woman. Modern businessman. <laughs> For any errands at the bank or the post office, the forms can all be taken care of here in Eden. This really is a world of convenience. Wow, world building. It's not just an online game anymore. It's, it's the metaverse. Can we buy some land in the metaverse? Heard a rumor. There's a ghost going round Eden. If you ask around, you'll hear stories about the white boy. But if you look real close, the facial texture's all messed up. The arms and legs are slimy tentacles. Its real form is the demon of the creeping darkness. It comes up to your avatar and snaps it up. Chomp chomp. That's the rumor anyway. Thank you, flashy dude. Knowledgeable dude. You can use access points to get to areas with connections that are always live, but to go anyplace else, you'll need the URL. Ah, yes, URLs. Today, I'm logging in from a top-class salon in Roppongi. Both the service and the avatar management are first-rate. I've been to Shinjuku and Shibuya's Eden spots, but the login areas and cafes were packed, and what's more, filthy. I deserve better. Bungling businessman. Oh shoot, I'm not supposed to be at this pavilion today. I messed up the URL again. We have to avoid the urge to launch into a discussion about URLs. Even though I'm in the digital world, my avatar looks just like the real me. I know it's supposed to cut down on crime, but it still sucks. What do you want to be? Unhappy businessman. I'm 
nervous woman. What now? Question we're all asking. I think even Eden avatars move faster than real people. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. No more running. It's no more running than Jim. It's just an avatar, so it won't affect his muscles. But it will be good image training, no? Oh yes, image training. Hey now, keep running like that and you're going to fall. Even as an avatar, it'll still hurt. Don't worry, we're not gonna exhaustively... Looking for your friend? If they're not here, did you try looking in the community area? It's an open area, just like the entrance, so you can get there from any terminal. Oh. I guess we talked to everyone. There don't seem to be any avatars like them. I guess I showed up too early after all. There's still time left before our meeting. I should check out some of the other areas. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, I think this game does not have autosave. Let's check out what we've got in our menu. So save. And how fast is that? Better be fast. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Items. Layer. Keyword. Options. Pretty, pretty limited. What can you expect for a port? I'm just glad that there are graphics options. Field guide. Digiline. Okay. I'm sure we'll be introduced to these later. Supposedly, this is a fairly easy game. In fact, I better make sure. As far as options go, there isn't. There's not even an easy difficulty anymore. Okay. I think there was at one point an easy difficulty, but the game is supposedly quite easy. So let's see what this is. Gummy Mon Metal. I really don't like that I can't pan the camera around, but it does have certain advantages. This area looks pretty nice, too. This is the cyber utopia we dreamed of, but we will maybe not ever have. Maybe minus the hackers. Uh, go to another area. So it must be full dive VR. Surely, because they implied that that kid who was running, it wasn't going to stimulate his muscles. Um, use it. Oh yeah, okay. This is the world's easiest tutorial. We can go to a different area. We have the URL. What a nice uh, little song and background animation. This reminds me of a, another game I played. Well, not recently. It reminds me of uh, 13 Sentinels. That was a... Probably one of the last games I played on the PS4. The whispering in the soundtrack is... A little unsettling. This is the community area. I like this place. It's quiet and relaxed. My Digivice's talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hey there, it's me, Mr. Navit. Just one sec. You're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late. Hurry up. Come to Galacta Park in Kowloon. Your two friends arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye bye Kowloon? Isn't that the dangerous area full with hackers? Even full of hackers. 
Oh, wow. Choices. I wonder what he meant by a gift. Anyway, let's go to Galacta Park in Kowloon. I've never even been anywhere near Kowloon. How do I get there? There might be someone here who knows how to get to Galacta Park in Kowloon. I'd better ask around. Well, they said it three times, so we can't possibly forget where we're supposed to go. Keywords. So... I should mention that I'm not using a guide so far, and I, I'm... Unless... Unless I get really stuck or I find that we are wasting a lot of time... I'm planning to probably not use one, but we'll see. This game should hopefully have less pat padding and backtracking than Digimon World 3. I found a sparkly thing at the end of the street, and then I saw something awesome. Latest Digivice. Sweet. If I had one, I could do so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, that reminds me. They just announced three new... Uh, wave 2 of the Pendulum Color uh, Digital Monster Pet... Uh, digital Pet Toys. Uh, and uh, within, like, the first seven hours, the site that I usually get those things from was already sold out of them. So I had to go to some a different site. Uh, but yeah, that just happened, like, this morning uh, of, of the day of this recording, which maybe not, not the day that you're watching this. That monument's a miniature of Eden. Something shiny. Oopamon metal. What can we do with metals? People just hanging out here. Top area is for Eden offices. The bottom level is filled with old trash data. The virus attacks originate down there. It's a public nuisance. Well, it's all digital, right? Select all, delete. Can't talk to... Everyone, I guess. Shopping. Ah, so who? Oh, and the digital world enables mobility. That is nice. Um, I'm not sure that I would want to physically walk around to do my shopping. Being able to actually have my real body represented to like try on clothes that would be that would be nice. But for, like, buying things, I I'm not sure uh, I would want to walk around a physical store, like a, a virtual store. Kind of busy here. What? You want to go to Kowloon? But why? It's lawless and filled with hackers besides. If that's what you're into, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. There's a hacker-looking thug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. Wow. Life lessons. Uh, the hacker hanging out near the entrance, I'm not sure. They're probably talking about... The mysterious looking hacker. Creepy hacker. I want to go to Galactic Park in Kowloon. That's what you think you want, isn't it? I'll show you the way. This is the URL to their area. Take it. Thank you, creepy hacker. I got the URL. Oh, <clears throat> we're not a, uh, we're not Junior anymore. We're just uh, cheerful Takumi. Now I can go to Kowloon. All according to Keikaku. Editor's note, Keikaku means plan. Translator's note. Uh, 
Let's go. Well, I probably should have made a save. I'm not sure how, uh, how bad this game is with locking you in. At least we can apparently save anywhere. We don't have any save points. Would you happen to be Akino? Akino, this. Do you call the she? She ramine Nokia. Yo, no, she. ビビりすぎだっての。なんだ、新たじゃん。ただのあなたじゃん。ゆ、幽霊かと思った。たけ、チキンのくせに息がってこんなとこまで残るのか来てんじゃねえよ。ああ、うっせうっせ。つうか。
ナビットってやつでデジモンキャプチャー最近ハッカーたちの間に出回っているハッキングツールだねえデジモンってあのデジモンああオタクが興味津々だったそのデジモンだろふん特定のデータデジタルモンスターをスキャンしてキャプチャーするとおやっぱデジモンってデジタルモンスターの略らしいぜなくもないかもなまいいじゃん別にハッカーなんざ今時珍しくもねえしやだやだやだハッカーなんてやばいよ絶対やだよいらないこんなプログラム捨てなきゃあ,あれ嘘嘘嘘嘘,嘘やめとけプログラムにプロテクトがかかってる無理に削除すると何が起こるかわかんねえぞそれな何よそれそれは Mr. ナビット逃がすかよ Arata could be in trouble. Let's go after him. Make sure to save frequently. Oh, you don't need to tell me. Only got three slots to work with, it looks like. I can work with this. So I guess we did not have Digimon until we got the Digimon Capture program. A firewall. I can、uh, hear. Wow, the、uh, the video cutscenes and the recorded dialogue. It seems very compressed. Like, this game was like 5.5 gigs, I think, which is tiny compared to games nowadays. But yeah, the, the dialogue, which is, I guess, Japanese only, which is fine. I usually do prefer things in their original language. But it, you can hear the hi you can hear a hiss、uh, with as they're talking.、Uh, that to me is a sign of an extreme amount of compression. I think that hiss is usually caused by dithering. Anyway, does the Kowloon area stretch all the way back through here? It feels totally different from the cyberspace areas on the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arata. He may have gone further inside. I should be careful. I should pronounce Arata correctly. Ew. I know better.
has been inscribed. What was that? Kowloon's as dangerous as they say. Who knows what might happen here? I better hurry up, find Arata, and get out of here. It's gotta be, it's gonna be Agumon, isn't it? It's always Agumon. Oh. Three different type of Digimon. This is an obvious choice. Excessively adorable animal type. Terriermon. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. Discover or encounter a Digimon, run a scan, and acquire the analyzed data. And that's how you capture Digimon. Oh, yes. Just because you got the analyzed data doesn't mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First, you must convert it. You must launch the program and implement it in cyberspace first and foremost. Only then can it serve as a digital monster, a hacking program that is not to be trifled with. Digital monster is a hacking program, huh? Unlike scan, convert is not part of the capture application. Certain rules are put in place to control how this power is exercised. They're just tutorializing us. Programs get more powerful as we gain XP. Tuck it away in a corner of your mind. No, in one ear, in one ear, and out the other. Hackers have been with Eden since its inception. You want the Digimon right now? Yes, give me the Digimon. I see, you heard what I had to say and decided you wanted to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. Yes, we aren't going to be one of those evil hackers. 
Well then, follow the steps. Start with the scan. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? Uh, our old friend. We have... We have, uh, Metapod at home. Great value, Metapod. デジモンならいくらでもいる。いや。あれはまだ君の手には負えない。やめて。なんだって。君は大物好きだ。だが単なるプログラム同士のコゼリアに首を突っ込んで。His lines sound a little bit cleaner than uh the previous voice actor Better save after all that. And you know what? We haven't even had our first battle. We've had some things happen. We're going to get our first Digimon. But it's already been long enough, so I think we'll we'll uh, take a break here and be back next time with not more Digimon World 3, no. Now with more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So thank you for watching, and bye for now. <laughs>